Ah, uh, yes, back to basics. Another fun rump. Romp. Fun rump, too. I'm going to leave that in there. I'm not going to edit that one out. Uh, today, we're going to talk about difference of squares. Now, difference of squares is exactly what it sounds like. It's a form of factoring. Like, you would be asked to factor that. That is an eraser. So you would be asked, factor that guy right there. And you might look at that and say, I thought when you factor a quadratic, there should be three terms. Not always. See, a difference of squares is named after exactly what it sounds like. A square minus a square. Difference means minus. Squares means they have squares attached to them. Or you could take the square root of them. And that's kind of what we're looking at. When you are asked to factor a difference of squares, you are going to have your parentheses like you always do when you factor quadratics. And inside one of them, you have a plus, and inside the other one, you have a minus. Doesn't matter which one's which. And in the first part of each parentheses is going to be the square root of the first term. And the second part of the parentheses is going to be the square root of the second term. So this is called a special case. And what I'm looking at when I'm asked to factor that is do I have a square? Yeah, n squared is a square. Do I have a difference? Yeah, a minus is a difference. And do I have a square? Yeah, a 25 is a square. The square root of 25 is five. So what you do is you have your parentheses. You take the square root in your head, of course, of the first guy, you get n. You put a plus or minus, and you take the square root of the second guy in your head, of course, and you're done. Difference of squares. That's it. It's easy. Now they get a little more complicated, but that's basically the idea. You're being asked to factor something squared minus something squared. That is a square. That is a minus. 84 is a square. 8 squared. So you split it up into two parentheses, right? You take the first guy in your head. You square root it. That gives you P. That gives you P. You make one of these plus, you make one of them minus, it doesn't really matter. You take the square root of this guy in your head, that gives you eight, that gives you eight, and then you're done. Now, if you're wondering like, well, why does that make sense? Well, I thought when I foil, like if I wanted to check my work and I foiled these out, I thought you would get three terms because you combine like terms. Not in this case, P times P is P squared. Uh, P times negative eight is negative eight P. P times positive 8 is positive 8P. Those middle terms cancel each other out. So there is no middle term in the difference of squares cases. That's why it's a special case. Ooh. Is 9X squared a square? There's two things there. Yes, it is. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of x squared is x. Is that a minus? Yes, it is. Make one of you positive. Make one of you negative. Can you take the square root of 1? Let me see. 1 times 1 is 1. There we have it. And we're just going to keep moving along. We'll keep moving along. Can you take the square root of 49? Yeah, it's 7. Can you take the square root of x squared? Yeah, it's x. Is that a minus? Yeah. Is that a square root or a square? Yeah, take the square root. You get 10. So square root of 49 is 7. Square root of x squared is x. Make one of them positive. Make one of them negative. It doesn't matter. Square root of 100 is 10. Gotta get more complicated at some point. Is that a square? Yeah, it's one. Is that a minus? Yeah. Is that a square? Yeah. So one, one, minus, plus, minus. The square root of r squared is r, r. Can you take the square root of 10? No, but and that is a cube. Oh, yeah. Factoring doesn't only mean like you put things in two separate parentheses. Sometimes when you're asked to factor, you pull stuff out. I can take a 10 out of both of these. I can also take a P out of both of them. 
And when I do that, when I pull a 10 out of a 10, I'm left with one invisible one. When I pull a P out of P cubed, I'm left with P squared. That's a minus. When I pull a 10 out of 1,960, I'm left with 196. And when I pull a P out of a P, I have nothing. But I'm not done. You see, sometimes you can factor more than once. I have to look at that guy and see, can I factor any further? And the answer is yes. Because I see in here, I have a, say it with me, difference of squares. Is P squared a square? Yeah. Is a minus a minus? Yeah. Is 196 a square? Yeah, it's 14 squared. So that 10P lives out there. This parentheses gets split up into two parentheses where the first part is the square root of P, positive, negative, doesn't matter. And the square root of 96 is 14. 196 is 14. And that ladies and gentlemen, is difference of squares. <laughs> I hope you had as much fun as I did. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.